But joy is a professional sport. Win big one week, lose big the next. Absolutely. Um, yeah, we, we, we outplayed this game uh, right from the start, really. They got, a, I think, a, a total that was above par. And then we, we got under pressure and, and it showed in our two innings and we didn't play very well. Not played very well all round? Yes, I think so. The first day we didn't bowl particularly well. Uh, and I thought they got, you know, 100 runs too many, really. Um, second day, we came back and put it right, and I think we got 155 for seven. Uh, got them, you know, bowled there. It could have been worse. So, you know, all credit to our bowlers to come back the next day and, and back up a poor day with a very good day. Uh, and then we just didn't quite get partnerships with the bat and kept losing wickets and got behind the game, and it was, you know, difficult to get into the game the ones who were behind. Batting looked a bit easier today. Were, were you a bit disappointed that somebody didn't go on and get 100? Joe Weatherly batted nicely for his 87, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And he's batting very nicely. And, and him and Vincey put on a very good partnership. I thought the, the morning partnership of 90 between you know, Barker and Fuller was also very good. And it showed that we could score and we sort of got a bit of belief in that and kept saying, you know, all the right things in the change room. But kept losing wickets you know regular intervals just before sessions all the things that we do speak about um, we didn't quite do this match and and we paid the price were you up against a very good Surrey side though yeah they were a good side I think every team in the competition I don't think any weak sides and you can't go to any match thinking you just go, you're going to win it um, you have to play well to win it and they played well to beat us and I think we're a good side and I don't think one week makes or one poor performance makes us a bad side. But we're going to have to play a lot better than this in the next match. And I'm sure we will. Confidence would have obviously been high coming into this. Uh, do you think it might have been dented because of this defeat? I think you always are dented with a defeat, especially, you know, by an innings. Um, you know, it does dent your confidence. And it's up to us all um, to put in the hard work between now and, and Thursday and we get ready for Kent. Disappointed that Mohamed Abbas didn't pick up much, did he, really, bowling-wise? I mean, normally we're used to seeing him pick up wickets for fun. Yeah, he said to me, you know, Coach, is there anything more I could have done? I didn't seem to get the wickets. And I said, you can bowl a lot worse than that and get six wickets in an innings. Um, and, you know, I think he bowled really well. And a lot of, you know, a lot of his good balls were, you know, play and misses. And on another day, they might get a fine edge. So... You know, things didn't go his way or, or our way, but we've got to make our own luck and put enough balls in the right areas to get that luck. And uh, unfortunately, you know, we we're just a little bit off the pace against a very good side. Looking for a big improvement at Canterbury next week, I guess. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we, we've spoken nicely in the change room. We're not throwing, uh, throwing our toys out the cot and worrying about this is, you know, we're a poor team or anything like that. I think we... You know, we, we, we know we were a little bit off the pace and we know what we have to do. And I think come Canterbury, we'll be ready for another match. Thank you, Aidy. Okay. Cheers, matey. Good luck.